Right, there, 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 there. Badger Latrina, he's back. Morning world, welcome to Thursday. No, it's not Thursday, you daft bugger. It's Wednesday. Morning world, welcome to Wednesday the 3rd of April. Um, yes, badger latrines. We'll be letting our cattle out soon, I hope. And stuff like that really bothers me, bearing in mind that we're already shut down with TB. It really concerns me. Nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. My hands are completely tied. If the badger wants to go and take a poo and a pee or whatever over there, nothing I can do about it. I literally, I could stand there and watch him and just got to go, right, you mate, you just get on with it. Um, yeah, but is that, is that the source of our TB? Is the other latrine that we found a week or so back down the bottom fence there, the latrine? Basically, we've got a set of badgers about 600 meters that way and we've got another set of badgers on the bank up behind the buildings there if you go over there there's a massive badger set over there one over there and it seems to be that our farm is on the boundary of the two territories and what you'll find is quite often badgers from two territories will have a latrine on the boundary and they will both mark that latrine. So it's quite possible that RTB could be coming from that way or that way, or if they're sharing a latrine, they're giving it to each other anyway. Nothing I can do about it. So hey, we're just gonna have a little wander down here, look at the grass. I've just done a little bit of video to finish up our air ambulance day charity event um, which went really well really pleased with it um, it could have been better if it hadn't been raining all month or all winter it could have been better we could have got folks out maybe even out on here you know I wouldn't mind actually one day having an event right down the bottom here and even down here do something problem with that is water small children yeah, it would depend on the event, I suppose, but uh, yeah. So just have a little breath of fresh air. I've been in the house for an hour or so. Been to the docks this morning. Been feeling a bit under the weather for the last few weeks. Can't put my finger on why I'm feeling under the weather. Um, it was one of those things where ah, it'll go away, I'll ignore it. And then Mrs. P said, fed up with you feeling unwell. You're going to the doctors. So I've been to see me doc this morning. Uh, Apparently he wants some beef off me, so it was worth the visit. He's drawn a lot of blood out of me, had to listen to me ticker. Everything seems okay, but uh, well, we'll wait for the results. So just being safe rather than sorry, I think so. I've got to the point in life now where I'm a bit more conscious about my health. And I think, I think maybe a few others should it's not a sign of weakness. It's not a sign of malingering or, you know, moaning or whinging. It is a case of, what's that, goose down there? Ducks. A uh, sign of, I really should be thinking about taking care of myself now because looking after myself now may well mean someone not having to look after me in 20 years' time. Does that make sense? Uh, Farmers have this reputation of being a roughy tufty bunch. We don't need doctors. We don't need help. We'll just soldier on through. We'll battle on. We'll be all right. Don't worry about me. And to a degree, I completely follow that attitude. The last thing I want to do is be a malingering, whinging, moaning. Oh, I don't feel very well. But yeah, I've had a couple of months of just feeling a bit not well so for a quick visit into the docks he's drawn about 
seven and a half pints of blood out of me. That might be a slight exaggeration. Oi, come here. Um, he's going to send off and do tests. Like I said, it might, uh, might have a little vitamin deficiency or there may be a little bug about me. They'll do some tests and if you find something wrong, we can, we can do something about it. I want to be doing what I do for the next 20 years, at least. Into me, into me 80s would be nice. That's where I want to be. Um, and I need to take care of that now. So, yeah. So if you're a farmer, even if you're not a farmer, and you're feeling a bit under the weather, I'm not going to think any less of you. I'm not going to think you're less of a man, a less of a human, a, anything else. If you make an appointment, go and have a chat with your doctor and just say, I don't feel very well. Whether that's physically or in your head, doesn't matter. Whatever you say to your doctor stays between you and your doctor, and if he, he, if he or she, or they, can help you out, that's what they'll do. So, yeah. I just, I wasn't going to say anything about that, but, and I thought, you know what? Um, if I could say to folks, I'll go to the doctor, I'm not feeling great, I'll go. And he can, I'll let him do his job, and he can tell me if I've got a problem. If he comes back and says, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, what you're whinging about, I won't mind that either, because it's a bit of peace of mind for me and the family. I know, he's wittering on again, isn't he? Right, I just came down here to see if I could find a tadpole, but I can't see anything in here. So this is our dew pond. I dug this out when we bought the golf course. Oh a few years ago now and we said it would take a couple of years to mature and now it is maturing that's about four and a half feet deep down there uh, this dries up in the summer so six months time good chance this would be a, a dust bowl nothing in it um, but for frogs and newts and stuff like that they only need it for the late winter spring very early part of the summer once the frogs have matured, they're out of there anyway. They'll be in all the log piles over there. They'll be through all there, hunting and catching whatever it is frogs eat. And they'll be quite happy. So we did have a nice big clump of frogs born there this year. We didn't introduce anything. We, we let nature take its course. Newts found this pond last year by themselves. I had nothing to do with that. Uh, the only thing is with newts is they do eat all the tadpoles. So newts' favourite breakfast, dinner and supper is baby frog tadpoles. So I don't think many frogs survive, actually got out of this pond alive last year. I think the newts pretty much had all of them. But yeah, the pond has matured, lots of weed on there, loads of hiding places now for um, our invertebrates, our amphibians, our reptiles that are in there so uh yeah really pleased with this really pleased with it so too wet to come down and cut the grass so we haven't it's not that bad actually we keep this bit of area here mown not all creatures want dense undergrowth there's actually in there there's not much to eat so got cover We've got all different types of habitat here. We've got cover, we've got trees for the nesting birds, we've got the brambles, berries, we've got flowers for the butterflies and the bees and everything else. And we've got a bit of grass that if the deer want to come in here, we have a lot of deer in here, mainly muntjac and roe deer. We have seen fallow in here, but it is mainly muntjac and roe deer. They can come in here. They've got somewhere to hide. Regularly, I've come down here and found either roe deer or a fox on that bank up there, just sunning themselves. They just, there's a little flat top plateau up there. They get on there, they've got a good view of everything that way, just catching some sun. What could be better for them? These piles of logs, this is stuff from our tree surgery company. We come down, there's piles of logs there, there's piles of logs over there, and there's another pile over there. And this is all rotting wood, decaying timber, which is the same thing as rotting wood, 
really. But that's hiding place for your frogs, your newts, your snakes, mice, beast, little small beasties. They'll all get in there. And it's not stacked neatly, it's just chucked in a pile and left. And that can now go on and decay over the next 20 years and give something a home and probably a meal. So this is just our little bit of give back. It's only about one and a half, not quite two acres that we've, it wasn't worth our while trying to farm this bit. We could put goats, pigs or something in here, but we thought, you know, we'll just give a little bit back. We'll just not have all of it. So, and this place is possibly one of my favorite places on the farm for I want a bit of peace and quiet. I fancy a little cabin on there. Just level that off, a little cabin on there that I can come down here, just sit, read a book, watch the wildlife. Yeah, happy days. This is a hardwood pile in here. Hardwood pile there, softwood pile over there. Different things might like different things, so we've given them a choice. This, this rubbish, whatever that is in there, that's from our predecessor. We thought about coming in here and trying to tidy it up and clear it all out, but you know what? I bet something even lives in that. And whatever that plastic thing is in there, I'll bet something takes shelter in there. So we're just going to let nature do it for us in its own time when it feels like it. Yeah, another pile of logs there. That is actually logs in there and soil. So that is literally, we dug that out, left the soil in it, and tipped it all as one go. So I love it in there. Frost proof, waterproof ish. Yeah, human, dog proof. You lot are not supposed to be in here really, are you? You can't go down there, you're not a terrier. Come on, come on, let's go. Ah. Hello, little mate, how are you? I'm very pleased to see you too. So since uh, this weekend's event, which was successful, and I am pleased it was successful. I'm glad the weather just shone on us for the day. Um, my daughters, uh, they want me to do more. They would like me to do more. Um, and I can't say as I'm keen. I don't mind doing a bit. I don't mind doing the odd thing, but I don't want to turn the farm into a different type of business. I like the farm as it is. Animals eating grass. That's what I like. I mean, there's the pressure for them is, oh, dad, you could do this and you could do that and you could earn this and you could earn that. And it's a case of um, money to them is a lot more important. And I get that. They're young. They've got everything in front of them. They want to earn a living out of whatever they can. We want to earn what they can, when they can. I've got to the point in life now where I've got everything I need. All right, there's a few things I'd like, but there's not many things I want and nothing I really need. How can I explain this? I'm happy like I am. I'm happy doing the bit and keeping this like it is. And without being unkind to anybody, I think lots of people could ruin this um, because that's what people do. I'm not pointing a finger at any individual, but lots of people, they ruin stuff. And that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, nobody else will look at this the same way as I do, okay? I grew up that great big house up there. My father was born there. I wasn't born in the house, but 
I grew up here. All my childhood is here. This place is special to me. And I really don't want it spoiled. So if I don't develop this into a massive, great, big events thing, that's the reason why. I live here. I like it like it is. I've got everything I need. So I just got a few daughters that believe I need a bit more. They might, but uh, they, they can wait. When it's their turn, that's up to them what they do with it. But until then, I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, I don't mind sharing it with a few and I don't mind sharing it with you lot on here. But uh, I mean, we haven't completely given up on the little campsite. We'd still like to do that. Just 10 caravans or 10 tents. We'd still like to do that. And maybe in the future that'll happen. We'll see, but that's kind of the limit. I, I wouldn't want more than that because I live here. I live there. I like it like it is. So this is probably today's video, you know, just me wandering around with a bit of indigestion, talking about stuff. Um, probably no farm stuff today. I've already done it all. Everything down there, down the sheds is done. Uh, you could have enough of the same thing every single day. But yeah, I thought maybe, maybe I'd just share a few thoughts with you on my health, the health of farmers in general. Even the doctor said, we've got a bit of a reputation of be all right, see what tomorrow brings. Um, and I think sometimes we have to think about more than just ourselves. We have to think about the people that we provide for, the people that rely on us. Just pick up uh, and not just be the big hard, roughy tufty farmer. Oh, well, I'll be all right. Yeah. Mm.